Three Chinese warships sailed into Sydney on Monday. Were the Australian public informed? Nope. Here's what our Supreme Leader, Prime Minister Scott Morrison had to say. It may have been a surprise to others, but it certainly wasn't a surprise to the government. They were returning from counter-drug trafficking operations in the Middle East, and that is a further demonstration of the relationship we have. What relationship is that, Mr Morrison? Since when are the Australian government a separate entity to the Australian people? Why is it that the Australian public were not informed about three warships, from a non-allied country, mind you, entering our territorial waters? Not only entering our waters, but entering one of our major cities. Since when is this normal behaviour? The most funny thing, however, is that there were members of the Australian Chinese community standing along the wharf greeting the Chinese warships to Sydney Harbour. My question, how did they know about it? Why is it that the Australian public were uninformed of the imminent arrival of a Chinese frigate, but yet the Chinese community seemed to be fully aware of their arrival? Something fishy indeed is going on. Only a few weeks ago, Chinese warships tailed the Australian Navy in the South China Sea as they made their way towards Vietnam. In April 2018, three Australian warships were challenged by the Chinese military, also in the disputed South China Sea. But apparently, despite all this, Chinese frigates are free to sail into Sydney Harbour without the public being told about it, unless you're Chinese, of course. Rory Medcalf, a national security expert at the Australian National University, said the claim about the ships being on their way back from the Middle East was a bit strange. He said, Sydney is hardly a convenient stopover on their way home. This looks like a serious show of presence in the South Pacific. Chinese naval visits to Australia have more typically been a lone frigate, not a task group with an amphibious assault ship and 700 personnel. About 730 officers and sailors are on the three ships, the frigate Xu Chung, the auxiliary replenishment ship Luo Ma Hu, and the landing platform dock Kunlun Shan. The Australian Defence Force commented, Port visits are conducted by all navies to undertake basic logistics and resupply activities, low-level maintenance, and provide valuable opportunities for crew respite. The Australian Government is committed to maintaining a long-term constructive relationship with China, founded on shared interests and mutual respect. That's all well and good, but why not just tell the Australian public about it? What's the big secret? You talk of mutual respect between China and Australia, but what about mutual respect between the Australian Government and the Australian people? Peter Jennings, Executive Director at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, made a few comments about the show of force that is the Chinese Navy entering Sydney Harbour. He said, It is a clear indication that China is becoming a militarily very powerful country. Even ten years ago, it really wouldn't have had the ability to send this kind of show of force. It is definitely a show of force. You can't send three large warships into a foreign port without it being a show of force. It is true that there are ship visits in both directions, but this is the largest Chinese ship visit we have ever had. I expect the Australian government to keep its population informed about these sorts of developments, particularly because this was so close to the anniversary of the Tiananmen Massacre. The Australian public should not be treated with contempt by our own government like this. What it reflects really is that no one in Canberra seems to know how to deal with the rise of Chinese power in a way that looks after Australia's interests. It is just embarrassing that this visit can happen in the time it has. Sam Rogovine, Director of the International Security Program at the Lowy Institute, spoke of the technological improvements of the Chinese Navy. He said, The quality of the ships is approaching some of the most advanced naval forces. Their forces have modernised at a breathtaking pace over the last decade, and it shows no sign of slowing down. It shows how good they are at developing a global presence. Ewan Graham, Executive Director at La Trobe Asia, commented on the presence of the Chinese community welcoming the warships. He said, There are photographs of the local Chinese community being present and waving flags. They were clearly forewarned. The communications side of the Department of Defense need to be careful as those images will be used by the Chinese government to project a friendly welcome on their terms. It puts Australia at a disadvantage, as most of the public wasn't even aware of the impending visit. A compromise could have been announcing they would be visiting this week, which doesn't give away excessive information but still lets the public know. Not saying anything doesn't really work, as you can't hide three massive warships coming straight into Sydney Harbour. 
What are your thoughts? Should the Australian government be more open about a foreign military entering Australian waters? Do you think it's okay that three Chinese warships can just sail on into Sydney Harbour without us knowing about it? Is Prime Minister Scott Morrison treating the Australian people with contempt? How did the Chinese community in Australia know about the upcoming visit, but we didn't? Is there something fishy going on with Australia-China relations? Do China actually have more power over Australia than we actually think? Anyway, I for one welcome our new Chinese overlords. Well, at least I can speak Mandarin.